Sundown Audio and SALT series. What does SALT stands for? Sundown Audio Low Voltage Technology. Today we're gonna to look at the SALT 3. We've shown the SALT 2 before. Check the link in the video description. You can see other tests of these amplifiers. This one retails for right around $1,100. Um, your prices may vary based on when you watch this video. That's kind of expensive for a 3000 watt amp, but you know, these are built like tanks and you can tell how well they're built when I show the internals. And um, yeah, they're just, you know, sometimes you have to pay a little more to get the nicer stuff. So I'm unboxing the SALT 2 here, which I've shown before, because all the SALT 2, 3, and 4 amplifiers are pretty much the same, uh, excluding the length and the power output, of course. You can see here it comes with extra hex screws as well as a cable. Here's the base knob. This uses the RJ45 style connection remote. And here's the base remote. It gives you voltage and temperature and Fahrenheit. It is plastic. Uh, we'll talk about that later. It does come with a small screwdriver so you can fine tune that voltage just to make sure it matches exactly to your system. Now, as far as specs go, the biggest things to note here, one ohm stable, 24 dB per octave, low pass filter and subsonic. As far as the specs go, 750 at four ohms, 1500 at two ohms, 3000 at one ohm. These amps are linkable, so you can hook up multiples and get double the power. That's always interesting and they're very heavy duty. When you pick it up, you can tell. On one end of the amp, we have Tiffany style, RCA inputs and outputs, power protect, clip lights, Status indicator for those LEDs we talked about before. We have a gain from 0.2 to 6 volts, subsonic 10 hertz to 50 hertz, bass boost 0 to 9 dB, remote indicator there, that's where you plug in for your bass knob, low pass filter and phase adjustment, as well as the linkable settings at the end for master and slave. On the opposite end, we have 1O for power and ground. Again, the SALT 2, 3, and 4 look pretty much identical on this end. You have dual speaker terminal outputs. However, this is a monoblock amplifier for only a subwoofer application. On the amp, this four pin connection for status, what this is, it gives you the ability using the wire included with the little plug on it, is to do remote status connection for power or protect. So if you want to extend some LEDs, you can do that. These nuts. <laughs> as far as dimensions go for the SALT 3, 19.7 inches on the long side, and for the width and the height, 8.75 inches here for the width and 2.75 for the height, that's the same across the line for these salt monoblocks. Now we'll get this uh, wired up using our nice RCAs, using the dual inputs, make sure we have enough juice and we fire it up. Now let's talk about the default settings of the amp because that people ask this all the time. First off, the gain is matched to the head unit with seven dB of overlap. The subsonic is set to minimum. The low pass filter is set to maximum or the highest setting. Bass boost is set to minimum or zero. Phase is set to zero. And the master and slave of course is set to the master mode. Now let's fire up the good old SMD, Demore Engineering Amplifier Dyno to do our RMS power output testing of this amplifier. Before we do that, make sure you check the video description for links to Wilson Audio merch, smash me a thumbs up, and subscribe if you like this content. More like it coming all the time. Now let's talk about the Dyno test. There's three different tests, certified, uncertified, and dynamic. Certified test takes us up to 1% THD. Uncertified takes us up to the clipping point. And dynamic is a dynamic tone mimicking IHF 202 standard. First up, let's try four ohms. Amp is rated 750 watts at 14.4. Please note that I do have my new lithium bank going here. So my voltage may be a little high, so you have to get over it. Rated 750, we got 1209, I'm sorry, 1272, right at 15 volts. So again, these amps are beefy and you're definitely gonna get more than the rated power. Uncertified up to clipping at 40 hertz. You can see it just keeps going. Jeez, is it ever gonna stop? 1778 at 14.72. Now let's try the dynamic burst mode. This is a 40 hertz pulse track. Feeds into the amplifier. Again, my voltage is a little bit higher than 14.4, but that is due to the new lithium bank. I'll try not to say that again, 1883. 4 ohms, 14.74. Efficiency wise, we get about 95% efficient. So uh, very nice. Next up, let's try two ohms. Amp is rated 1500 watts at 14.4. Here we go, certified test of 1% THD. Easily beats that number, almost 100, 1000 watts, 2475 at 15 volts. 
uncertified to the clipping point. It just keeps going. Look at this, over 3,000, 3136 at 14.44. So it does more at two ohms than it's rated to do at one ohm. So again, these amps are just beastly. Dynamic at two ohms, we got 3298, almost 3300 watts when it's rated 1500, so over double. And efficiency is still really good, 82.5% at two ohms. Now one ohm, the amp is rated 3000 watts at 14.4. Based on what we've seen before, we expect it to blow that out of the water. And of course we do. 4,184 watts at 14.15, just a beast. Again, these amps are expensive, but you're definitely getting more than uh, the ratings tell you. Also some durability built in there uh, with the Korean quality. 4,612 watts, one ohm at 13.98 to the uncertified mode. Now what about dynamic? Send that 40 Hertz pulse tone in simulating like music since it's so dynamic. Look at this, over 5,000 watts, one ohm, 14.21 volts. That's awesome. Now, as far as efficiency, we're still really good, 83% at one ohm. As for the results, yes, we'll say rated plus and actually rated way plus here if we see four ohms, two ohms, and one ohm. And I also did eight ohm tests and I pretty much got almost the four ohm numbers at eight ohms. This amp is just a beast. Now let's check the internals, see what's inside. Again, Korean half bridge goodness is what these amps have. And you can see here, I got the SALT 3 and the SALT 4 from Down for Sound at the same time. So I actually kind of ran the test together, but um, I want to keep the SALT 4 for a se separate video because it's just worth it, I mean, to show all the different tests, and that way you guys don't have to get confused as to what amp is being tested for what video. Here you can see 35 volt, 1200 microfarad for the input filtering, and then 160 volt, 1500 microfarad for the output. The good stuff, it has a massive heat sink, it barely got warm during testing, rated power plus a whole lot more, Tiffany style RCAs, which we love. These amps are linkable. If you got the juice, then link them up. 24 dB per octave crossovers. The remote base knob has voltage and temperature. Very good, we like that. Things that could be better, of course it's a big amp, Korean half bridge, has a logarithmic pot on the base knob so it turns up slowly and in the end it turns up really fast. It's plastic base knob, we kinda wish it would be a metal base knob, especially at this price. The black lettering is hard to see on the amp, so you have to use a light. Korean equals big dollars, and I would not use this amp at half an ohm. All right guys, there you have the test of the Sundown Salt 3. Again, I'm gonna have other salt amps. You can check the link in the video description that I've tested and will test in the future. Thanks as always for watching. Remember, this is not a budget amplifier, friends. This is your Denali, or this is your King Ranch, or your TRD Pro, if you wanna use those uh, similarities there. But yeah, this is a great amp overall. Thanks as always for watching. Until next time, Big D, you know where I'm at. I'm out of here. Yo, yo, let's throw some extras for the OGs who stick around till after the credits. Always throw you some extras. Let's try 0.8 certified. And here you go, 4,814 watts at 14.05 volts. Uncertified up to clipping at 0.8. Can we get 5K? Yes, we can. 5170, 13.97. Dynamic. Check this out. We're closing in on 6K, 57.85. Oh, it jumped up, 58.03 at 14.2. Here is the overall chart of all the tests. Thanks again, guys, for watching. More fun tests coming soon. Big D, out.